Hello, Mavericks, and welcome to another episode of MAV One Shots. The show where we take one Mav to one kill, one death, or one round. Unfortunately, this, uh. This. Arrowhead, or. Dart, or Tungsten Penetrator Core. Not working out so well. And a lot of that is due to the arrow, or rather, the uh, tank treads, not having the best of, uh, what's it called, aim, shock absorption, recoil stability, aim speed, hmm, I think recoil stability in this case. I don't think that that is quite accurate, though, because I think recoil stability, unless there was a secret update, which I did not see. Um, I th yeah, I think that recoil stability and aim stability are not what I think that they are. Because one of those stats One of those stats is how much you resist being knocked around, and one of those stats is how much you resist the recoil of your own weapons. And from the discussion that's been going on, I believe that the recoil stability is the one that affects not recoil, but rather impact. Oh, wait, what? Oh, interesting. So the tracks are the ones that have more recoil stability? Hmm. Interesting. That's a tank. V2. I don't even have the tank V2 available. What? Oh no, tank V2. Okay. 85-12. Five twelve, but still only twenty five. Interesting. So that's the uh, that's the handoff there. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to build. Honestly, I should go for support. I really should. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going to go for a tank right now. I'm going to build a general support, uh, or rather an artillery mav. Now, this one has more recoil stability, has more armor, has more load, but less durability. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go with more... more durability than armor because the enemies don't have very much um, splash as far as I can tell so this may actually work better um, let's see cockpit what do we have that has high... And I'm looking for aim stability.
looks like about 60 to 70 is the highest so far. The eagles might be a good idea. Yep, except for the support chassis, which, like the cephalofoils and stuff, which I want to unlock some of these guys, which all one support is level 8. Okay, well, let's go with an eagle then. Um, Power eagle? No, that has low aim stability. Protected eagle, or attack protected eagle. Uh, yeah, let's go with the attack eagle. And this guy does have a decent number of attachment points. Okay. What sort of oxes do I have? I could have a turret deploy. Could be fun. Or a comm set. But, let's focus on just having some good howitzers. Special. Oh yeah, I've got a celebration rocket too. That's fun stuff. Heavy howitzer, heavy rocket, mines, flamer cannon, shotgun assault rifle. Wait, there's another version of shotguns? Huh. Rocket, and that is player at least level 25, or scout 10, or soldier 14. Wow. That's a little bit higher up there than I was expecting. Still only have the Z-Howitzers and the uh, rockets for explodey weapons. So, let's go with howitzers. Uh, what weapon groups do I have? I have four groups of three. That could actually be just about perfect. You know? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's try a real simple, standard sort of uh, howitzer build, shall we? And that doesn't fit there. But what if I did this? No, not that. This. No, not that. No, not that. Mm. And that does not fit. Darn. Darn. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I can try it with spacers, I suppose. One. Three. One. Two. I'm not one for fancy weapon recoil profiles, either. Add part, spacer. I've got these guys, too. But that's pretty heavy for what I need. I literally just need two of these. bit too close there. I figured that was going to be like that. That's a bit heavy, though. Let's see. 11694. Question. Eleven one twenty. Hmm. Question. <clears throat> Stability is 70 on those. Hawk. Four groups, three per group. 
Hmm. Okay, let's maybe try a hawk? Because this is a good couple of hundred underneath. Or under weight, under the weight of the other one, though I don't believe that this one has the rear attach points that the eagle does. It does not, which means that this one would need. needs energy too, so we might be able to kill two birds with one stone here. Uh, generator. By attaching... Let's see, needs 600 something. I'm gonna need more than that. That's very heavy. Hmm. Again, 11913, that is still too heavy. Hmm. You know, I'll go with the other cockpit. And instead of having these extra clusters of howitzers, I will have a set of backup rockets. Yeah, that'll work out all right. And part, weapons, rockets. Uh, I don't want the burst fire, I just want some generalized splashers. Yeah, that still does that. Interesting. Three, four, and five. In this situation, it doesn't matter one whit which way these guys are oriented. Nice and explodey. Uh, and I need 1,082 energy. At under... At about... Uh, 1,600 weight. Which, that'd do fine. That'd also do fine. Might as well get the extra energy while I have the chance. This is very spidery looking. It's kind of cool. You know, I've got a little bit of weight. I'm gonna do something silly. A little silly. I've got uh, about... 430 to play with. So I can stick you on top. Yay! I've got a hat. And just because... <laughs> oh, 
that's interesting. I guess black isn't very black, is it? Huh. It's weird. But yeah, I'm calling that the Death's Head. <laughs> it's not much of a Death's Head, but it is amusing to me. And I know that this is not Outpost Alpha camouflage. But they're AI, they don't really care about camo anyways. So, who cares? Oh, and I accidentally clicked that guy. Get that Death's Head Ladybug back there. Okie doke. Uh, weapon groups. Of course, primary fire is going to be... <clears throat> these guys um you know what I'm going to do do it at least a little smart and outside in on these <clears throat> that should help a bit but these guys that's not as much of an issue because they don't really have recoil There we go. And I actually like how this build looks enough that I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it Death's Head. Actually, you know what? No. Before I do that, I've got a better idea. No pattern. Oh, right. It's the red back, rather. Why is that so pink? There we go. Yeah. I like that name. Alright, now let's go see how this works. Hopefully. Okay. Are, is there... Eh, there's bots. Um... We'll do the, the usual. Hopefully the howitzer issue where um, howitzers cause the frame rate to lag is not going to be a problem. In any case, if you haven't joined us for one shots before, we are going with this new single build until we get... If we... It's, it's, it's always awkward to explain. If we die first... And if we continue dying, if we keep dying, we keep going until we get one kill, and then we're done. If, however, we get a kill first, then we keep on going, keep on killing, until we die once. So basically, one life for us, or one life of the enemies. Uh, if neither of those things happen, if we just keep on killing without being taken out, or if we just keep on dying without being able to do anything to the enemy... Then we just go for the whole 15 minutes until one match is over. Who are we up against? Okay, there's a little light scout with some... I think those are deployables, so that's interesting. And the exact same scout. Interesting. And an enemy howitzer bot that is high enough level that he has the LGTs, so he can load on more weaponry than I can. Fantastic. And a shotgun howitzer cart. Well, this is just patently unfair. Hmm.
those guys should be... Whoa! I don't know how this frame rate is going. This isn't particularly fun though. Yep, that's not good. That's a kill. That is a definite kill on my part. Which means that we're actually in the danger zone right now. As far as being worried about dying goes. Someone is shooting me from behind. Okay, second kill, nice. And somehow my generator has not been completely exploded yet. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Okay, they're roughly very, very close. They're right freaking there. He got that kill. I might get one on him. So that'll be it for today's episode of One Shots. Join me again in the After Shots coming right up. Have a nice day.